every woman that prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head come with me deep alive you know somebody is coming to our church and she happens to be a lady and as we we'll see her entering by that door she has not covered her head and so somebody will run there and bring out an extra scarf and give her and say don't enter yet don't enter yet cover your head well to start with we don't know whether she's born again or she's not born again we don't know whether she even knows anything about prayer or not we don't know whether she knows anything about prophesying or not and we say stay there by the door we we'll delay her there you must cover your head every woman that prays or prophesies every woman that prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head and there are people that will not even allow those ladies to get saved those ladies to understand the word of god and they confront them out there before they even enter the church and they're not praying do they know how to pray they're not prophesying they don't know how to prophesy but we impose on them you must have this now and if that lady says what kind of church is this that me a dignified woman coming from my place and i just want to fellowship here today and they treat me like a primary school girl and say you must have this and they even brought something out for me to wear that will not match my dress that's my last time i'm not going there you see because we do not understand how to position the word of god we drive a lot of people away i pray god will give us understanding in his word in jesus name and then even for us who are inside now you are born again now you are a child of god and you are a sister already you know that you'll cover your head when you come to the church and when you are supposed to pray and when you are supposed to prophesy but then your emphasis is on covering 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 you might not even be praying you might be dozing and sleeping while the rest of the people are praying but you know i have fulfilled all righteousness i have covered my head you know what the scripture is saying the scripture is saying the purpose of covering the head for the woman is when you pray or prophesy are you following and let me open everything to you there are sisters that cover their head I would say at least 20 hours of every day in church the cover on the street the cover while eating the cover anything they're doing anywhere they're going even inside their own room the cover they're not praying they're not prophesying but they cover 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 eventually the air because of the heat will be emitting odor am i right so what kind of pastor is this this is the kind of pastor that will tell you everything you need to hear praise the lord there are some people even when they are taking their baths because they are not going to wash the air at that time the covering is still there now you put yourself in such bondage because you never read the word every woman that prays or prophesies with her head uncovered 
dishonoreth our head for that is even all one as if she were shaven and then in verse 6 look at verse 6 there it says for if the woman be not covered remember when praying when prophesying let her also be shown for if he it be a shame for the woman to be shorn or shaven let her be covered look at verse 9 in verse 9 it says neither was the man created for the woman but the woman for the man the woman for the man the woman for the man look up here if i don't tell you maybe nobody else will tell you there are some wives they don't make themselves clean beautiful attractive to their husbands he has married me he has married me he cannot divorce me and so there's nothing he can do and they dress shabbily and they will not present themselves attractive to their husband it says the woman was made for that man there are some singles i was going to have a single seminar on the feast of june saturday i pray you'll be there because anything that has hindered you from getting bone of your bone flesh of your flesh we're going to cancel everything in jesus name but you know my brothers and sisters here we are there are sisters single sisters they, they're not presentable you can see their problems on their faces and the way they carry themselves you know anybody that even knows the will of god will say if i bring this one in i'm bringing another load i have enough load for myself cheer up you're a child of the king and as you cheer up and you present yourself properly like you ought to do i pray everything you've been praying about the lord will answer in jesus name now now it says every man that prays or prophesies every woman that prays or prophesies that means that the reason why we are covering the head as a woman is because either you are praying you are having a quiet time either you are praying you are praying for a specific thing either in the house or anywhere you are you are praying and then you are prophesying you're teaching the word of god you are evangelizing that's when it says you bring a cover on your head and i pray that god will help you the power to pray and the promises you stand upon when you pray the lord will grant you the heart to abide in jesus name